Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet. And we are back here at Michigan's St. Croix Lake. And this time we are going to be headed to a place called the Vanishing Rock Light. And basically this is in the open part of Lake Michigan. So this is where you get into the deep water and you can get to some interesting species such as the Atlantic Salmon and walleye and smallmouth and quite a few others and um, we're gonna give it a little shot here we have I haven't fished here in a while honestly and I want to see if some of the tricks I'd used in the past still work today since things have changed now we don't have a lot of time it's almost 8 p.m. but I figured you know while we're here might as well try a little of the night fishing too while we're at it but I'm gonna try my good old rusty trusty two ounce medium tiger spoon just to see if that is going to do me any good if that doesn't work I'll use the one and a half but I always have a lot of luck with these particular lures and when night comes I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out my crankbait and give that a shot good old glow in the dark we'll make sure that gets all the way to the bottom guys we're going to do a lift and drop, and we're going to see if anything's interested in it. This may be a little... No, it's getting a good lift and drop. There for a while, I wasn't sure if it was. There we go. We got something. What do we got here? Probably a smallmouth. Yep, smallmouth bass. We'll keep that little bugger. Toss that sucker out there again. And we are going to see if we can tag into at least a trophy smallmouth. All right. I think we just got us a regular one again, guys. No, maybe not. He's fight. He's just fighting me real well. Yep, there you go, guys. Trophy smallmouth bass. And yeah, this is an awesome spot for smallmouth that is when you cast it right awesome spot just cast right out there by those boys I am really curious to see how this does with the other lures at night but I am seriously pleased with the way the turnout has been on these medium spoons some seriously deep water yeah I wasn't that long ago that I was at Lake Michigan I happened to go to Chicago and we went out on the Navy Pier that was a pretty good vacation guys I had a good time if you ever get a chance there we go, guys. If you ever get a chance to go to the Navy Pier when you go to Chicago, go check it out. It's pretty cool. 
They got all kinds of shops. They got shows. It's a pretty decent fish, whatever it is. Smallmouth bass. Regular. Regular size. Letter sink. But anyway, yeah, it's a beautiful place. And just like there, I don't know if you can see that little cruise ship. There are a lot of cruise ships out there. Just like that, as a matter of fact. If you have the bucks, you can take one of those cruise ships out and spend the day. Just kind of turn around. There we go. Well, they are really biting today, guys. Really biting today. All right, guys, it is night, and to be perfectly honest, I have not float fished out here very much since the update, and I didn't really get uh, actually any bites. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to bring this float fishing rig in, and we're going to do a little bit of cast fishing with the crankbaits and maybe some of the others just to see what happens here guys let's see let's see what we got here that we can work with here's the three foot crankbait and the eight foot crankbait let's try the eight foot guys Cast that sucker right out there by that buoy, and we'll see if anything could. Well, that's not right. <laughs> Had the wrong rod. Let's cast this crankbait out there towards that buoy, and we'll see if anything is interested. Not a bad cast. Not a bad cast at all. We'll see. Yeah, I don't know if you guys noticed that light that's in front of me. Yeah, I got that light as part of the night fishing deal for catching over a hundred fish during the night time. And I believe there's still five more days that you can still try to get that. So if you got time, you might want to do some fishing, guys. But it only counts if you fish during the night between the hours of 9 and 5 a.m. 9 p.m. 5 a.m. Okay, nothing is going for the 8-foot cranks. Let's try the 3-foot crank. Nothing seems to be going for the crankbaits, guys. I've cast a few times and didn't have anything go after it. But there's plenty of other things we can try here. We've got this blue hypnotic, which means we're going to need to do a lift and drop. We'll just see if it works similar to what the yellow tiger does in the daytime. I 
There we go. All right, looks like we found the right lure, guys. There you go. Smallmouth bass. So they're not going for the crankbait at all. They're going for these. Pretty darned awesome. Let's try to stop and go, see if that does anything with these little jokers. There we go, guys. Yeah, these smallmouth seem to really like this blue lure. So if you want to get them night fishing, that's the one to use, at least as far as the spoons go. Let's give a shot with one of our rubber worms here real quick. That'll be our final thing for this little venture. Let me see. I think we should probably go with a 6 7th ounce. And what size worm do you think, guys? What do you think? 5 inch? As soon as I find it. 3 inch? 4 inch? Let's go with the 4 inch. No, let's go with the 3 inch shad. I've had a lot of luck with the shads, especially with the walleye. Let's just see what they think about this. They might not be interested in it. Now, remember guys, I have not fished this particular peg just yet. This is all new. What I'm doing may or may not work. But apparently it is going to work. Looks like the shad are popular. Oh wow, this is a fairly decent sized smallmouth. Maybe we got us a trophy here, guys. Yes, we do. There you go, guys. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, we're going to do one more cast out with this shad. Guys, the drop seems to be the way to go. I tried... The stop and go just didn't get as near as much as the reaction as I did with the lift and drop. I know the lift and drop is a little bit harder to maneuver. It just takes a lot of practice. to get the timing down but once you do it is definitely worth it here we go guys last smallmouth for the this particular event oh it's a brown trout Pretty cool. Brown trout, guys. There you go. That was a nice little surprise. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. That was a lot of fun. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Fishing Planet. Until then, guys, always remember, aim straight. Cast far and have fun. Most important, have fun. Anyway, guys, take it easy. Bye-bye.